so wonderful to be here with you this afternoon on this very auspicious day for our nation and always for the arts. Our programs can come to you in three ways. You know, storytelling never stops. So virtually, one, we can come to you live virtually and we can stream to you as well live virtually. Just as well, we can pre-record and we also if you think that the students just had too much screen time we can come to you through a podcast or on audio so we want to share a taste of a story of when we come live and this story takes place in the savannah there was a little mouse and her name was Imani. Now Imani, she didn't live in the Savannah all by herself. She lived there with a lot of other animals. But those other animals, they teased Imani. That's not right, is it? Well, guess who would tease Imani first? Ask me who. You have to say who, ask me who. Who, yes, ask me again, who? It was the monkey. And the monkey would say, Imani, you so teeny tiny, so teeny tiny, so teeny tiny. Do you think that bothered Imani? No, Imani, she would just sing her song. They might call me teeny tiny, but in my mind I'm mighty, mighty. They Teeny tiny, but in my mind, I'm mighty, mighty. Come on, everybody, do the motions with me. Sing the song with me. They might call me teeny tiny, but in my mind, I'm mighty, mighty. They might call me teeny tiny, but in my mind, I'm mighty, mighty. Any money? She would go on about her business. Now, Imani was so little that she would take a little teeny tiny feet and she would run up the anthill. And then she'd sit at top and slide down the anthill. But when she got to the bottom, there was another animal standing there teasing Imani. Ask me who? Who? Ask me who? Who? It was the hippopotamus with his wide mouth and his blubbery lips, and he was like, Imani, you're so tiny, are you a little bitty, itty bitty, tina tiny, Imani, you're so tiny, are you a little bitty, itty bitty, tina tiny. Do you think that bothered Imani? Oh no, you're so right, Imani, she would just sing her song. They might call me teeny tiny, but in my mind I'm mighty, mighty. They might call me teeny tiny, but in my mind I'm mighty, mighty. Sing it again, do the motions with me. They might call me teeny tiny. 
teeny tiny, but in my mind I'm mighty mighty. Any money? She went on about her business. Now, many of you know that if we were to continue to tell that story, it is Aesop's fable of the lion and the mouse. But only we do it our way. And to hear the rest of it, I hope we get to come into your school. Now we want to share just a little bit with you, and we'll share our screen, on how we bring it to you if you pre Questions for us 
that we can answer for you. That stamp rendition uh, has many different stamps in between. That was the first stamp and the last stamp, stamp that we present in this series. But are there any questions for us for right now? I don't see any yet in the chat. So um, I'm assuming schools do ask you questions about your program. Yes. yes. So uh, again, we customize, like for instance, the sweet potato pie series, we customize from K to five and we can go up to, to eighth grade and we will customize the stories for you, whether we do it pre-recorded or whether we do it live or audio. And just as well, I'll leave a link in the, in the chat for a free program that you can get on uh, social emotional learning that's available until uh, Saturday. It was the Free Library of Philadelphia, and we did that program this weekend. It was a, a an hour program, so hopefully you'll watch that as well, and you'll get a little bit more of Queen Noor and Dwight James. And if you ever have any questions, just re reach out to us. That was terrific, Queen Noor. Thank you so much. We really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, audience. Great. Hope to see you.